Sneaker Hoarders. The Nike Air Force One was released in 1982 in the high top version only. The low top version was not released until 1983 with the price point of under $60. In 1984, Nike discontinued production of the Air Force One, which started the trend of people customizing their old Air Force Ones. The demand was great and Nike decided to re-release the Air Force One in 1986, included limited editions, which gave Air Force recognition all over the USA as a cool, casual, hip, athletic shoe that could be worn many ways. The white-on-white -white leather low-top Air Force One is arguably one of the most iconic sneakers in hip-hop, modern-day urban and suburban culture, with very little money spent on marketing. Hip-hop and street culture served as a walking advertisement for the Air Force Ones in the 1990s and early 2000s. In 2001, Nike started to release women's sizes. Through the 90s, the price for Air Force Ones stayed around $50 to $60. It wasn't until the early 2000s the price started to climb to around $80. And in 2023, Air Force Ones retail between $90 and $150 with prices going into the thousands for limited editions and exclusive collaborations. The Air Force One was the first basketball shoe to use the Nike Air technology. Air Force Ones are available in five styles. Low, super low, mid, high, and super high. The Air Force Ones continue to be one of Nike's best sellers for over 20 years. The exact number is unknown, but it's rumored that there are over 100,000 versions of the Air Force One. Between Nike's releases and the countless customs worldwide, here are a few pairs in my stash. Sneaker hoarders.